dynamicartstore.com to get the cars. Right. Icons, legends aiming at the stars. Personally, at checkout to save your points. And now your bank account won't be staying empty. empty. Dynamicartstore.com. Right. Use code Hursty. Go on. Hey there guys, welcome back to Hurst Games and welcome back to the QPR crew mode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, then please go and check out the playlist. Get yourself all nice and caught up. But if you are caught up, then welcome to today's episode. Today, we're going to start off in the cup against Everton. It's going to be a tricky game. Probably going to have to rotate a couple of players purely because of fitness and all of that good stuff because we do have leads later on in today's episode as well. Those are the two games that we are playing today. So I'm going to have to rotate just a little bit and I'm going to have to go through a few things. One thing I want to talk about firstly though is we have been told or I've been asked in the comment section if I'm going to sell brighter size Samuel now uh, there was one comment that I think summed it up perfectly well and that's from Mr. Jack aka Flawless Mistakes as he said in there as well basically brighter size Samuel obviously in this career mode has done nothing wrong to us in this career mode he's been fine we had the contract negotiation because we were in the top 10 uh, I think it was by January and you know the conversation in this career mode is that for all intents and purposes, he's absolutely fine being at the club. Now, obviously, I'm upset with Bright. Obviously, I'm upset with what's happened in real life with Bright Asaya Samuel. However, and I stand by it, I think the only reason we would sell him is if we had a specific reason or if the right deal came in for him. That is how we're going to run this. I'm not going to actively sell Bright Asaya Samuel unless we have a reason to in the career mode. If he ends up being a bit of a tool in the career mode as well, then he'll go. But until that happens, he stays, boys. Okay, just want to get let you guys know as well that Paul Smith is going to be going out on loan either to Anderlecht or to, I think it was Santos in Brazil. Uh, and Aussie Kaka as well is potentially going out on loan to New York City for a short term. So he'll be there probably for like about half the season. So these two potentially going out on loan, I'll let you know as and when that comes through. Okay, so as you can see, a fair few changes in our lineup today up against Everton. They're expecting them to make a few changes of their own as well, playing a 4-3-3 still. We're going to go to the 4-2-3-1. One of the noticeable changes is Shadipo has come in and he is specifically asked to play. So you know what, I'm a man of my word. I said I'd play him and I'm going to. Ellis Todd also asked to stay on. He didn't want to be dropped for this game, so Ellis Todd is playing on the other wing. Ludwig is going to start for us at right back. Marston's coming in for Carter Vickers for fitness reasons. Um, I might change Amos partway through the game with Chaloba, both of which are a little bit tired, but Dumble will probably play the entire 90 minutes today. Pepe Ars is going to start, and Obafemi is going to get his first start. He's going to be on his own up top. Let's see if this slightly rotated squad can maybe have a good day today. It's going to be a tricky game, though. Cup games have never really been QPR's forte, but today we're going to see if the Carabao Cup can maybe include QPR in the fourth round. It's going to be a tricky one. Goodison Park is the stadium I've actually never been to, but one I would love to go to um, in real life. However, it's going to be a tricky day today. Let's concentrate on the game. Let's try and get these three points. Well, not these three points. Let's try and win the game. Let's try and go through the cup. That's what I meant to say. Oh, they've worked the ball over quite nicely here. They're trying to work it backwards. Oh, Masterson stepped away there. Thankfully, uh, I'm not entirely sure who that striker was, but he scuffed it. Uh, and it has gone well wide of the goal. Been a very tricky start for us. Everton have been high pressure and they've been uh, very busy going forward. Ball to Pepe Ars here. Pepe Ars is going to take his time. Going to look out wide and we're going to find Ellis Todd making a beautiful run through here. Attack on the counter is exactly what we're going to have to do. Ellis Todd's going to try and power this across the goal. Good save from the keeper. First chance of the game for us there. And uh, wasn't a bad little counter, but sadly the keeper was equal to the strike. Got the ball here with Dumball. Dumball's going to see Ellis Todd running through again. Ellis Todd again. Can he make the most of his second chance through in this similar position? Yes, he can. Finds the back of the net. Lovely stuff there from Ellis Todd. He's going to go and celebrate, hopefully, with his teammates. He does. Boys, lovely stuff there on that counter yet again. We've done really well. Lovely pass there from Dominic Ball to find Ellis Todd. Just slowed down just before the strike. Found that time. Found the space. Found the back of the net. Lovely stuff. 1-0. And again, slightly against the run of play. They've had a lot of the ball. But we've both had, like, I think probably equal chances now. But a hey, 1-0 to us. That's a good start. They've worked the ball forward quite nicely. And Dono there is going to play a lovely ball over the top. Ben Rama's going to come up against us here. The ex Brentford man. Can he be the man to implement some sort of... Oh, I was going to say some sort of goal against us there. But Ben Rama does find the back of the net. Makes it 1-1. Bit of a sinker there for us. Bit gutted to have conceded in the way that we did. Poor defence really. That little ball back over the top to, to Ben Rama was the, uh, the downfall for us there. Like you can see it. Oh, I don't think it's... Oh yeah, this one here. This little ball... That pass there is just outrageous. The little little play through just to split the defence. Ludwig lost his man, sadly. Didn't get himself goal side. And Ben Rama does make it 1-1. Not the goal we wanted to, uh, to concede. And especially not the play we wanted to concede against. However, we can get ourselves back into it again. Another another bit of patient play from us. And uh, who knows. But 1-1 so far. 
done balls. Going to find Ellis Todd out wide. Ellis Todd is going to look inside and find Obafemi. Obafemi sees a run here from Luke Amos running from the midfield. Luke Amos pulls it onto his left. Luke Amos finds the back of the net. That was a very quick reply from us there. 38 minutes in, four minutes. We were level pegging, but then we get ourselves back into the leader. But a lovely bit of play, I have to say, as I said, just as we conceded. We needed a bit of patience, a nice bit of play, and to get back into it. And we've done exactly that. And Luke Amos makes a fantastic run. That run there from the midfield is beautiful. He tries to bring the, the midfielder with him or tries to break away from the midfielder. But number 13, I'm not sure who that is. Can't keep up with him. Uh, Aden, Adeniran? I don't know how you say his name. But that's a lovely goal. And uh, I think it's Lossel they might have in goal. Couldn't do anything about it. Lovely stuff. 2-1 boys back in front. Well, there it is, half time. We go in at the break 2 1 up. Very, very happy with that. Two goal scorers that were maybe slightly unlikely. Ellis Todd doesn't get himself too many, and Amos, I think, picks himself up even less. However, I have to say, very, very happy with the boys so far. Shadipo is slightly evident that he is a little bit off the pace, but that's because this is his first time playing the season, so his match sharpness is not going to be there. But other than that, I have to say. The only other player that maybe isn't quite playing as well as they could do is Ludwig, but he's up against a very tricky opponent today, so that's always destined to be that kind of thing. But we are going to take off Amos here. We're going to bring on Shaloba and uh, just you know just to give Amos a little bit of rest. I don't mind which one of these play in the next game. It could even be that we play Shaloba and Amos in the next game, but we'll have to wait and see. Other than that, though, I'm going to keep the team exactly the same. Uh, I don't feel like we need to make any more changes. The only other change we might make at some point is maybe taking off Ellis Todd and bringing on Ilias Chair, just again for the fresh players for Leeds. But other than that boys I think we'll stick with the same team uh more of the same and, and again just from here on out patience with the ball because that led us to good things last time We've got the ball out wide here gonna again just have to be patient Chaloba's trying to try and stay ahead of the defense here and just be that sort of main man sat in front of the defense and encourage them to go backwards which has worked the first time around however here they're going to go again. Ben Rama plays it backwards. Gibson is going to try and overlap here. But thankfully, Ellis Todd is back there to help Ludwig out with the uh, the two against one otherwise. So good stuff there. But again, they're just patient with the ball. They're just rotating it very, very carefully. Very, very careful in possession. You can see they've made themselves that space. Ben Rama's gone backwards to Gibson. Gibson's going to play it in the middle. Good block there initially from, I think that is Connor Masterson. However, Ludwig again out of possession, out of, oh, mate. No, that's not good. Lovely block there from Hammerlinen after a very good save as well from Ramsdale but we've got to keep this out it's not over yet oh they've recycled it well they found the back of the net and Donate's made it 2-2 it's been a really tricky game to defend I have to be honest with you it's evident that I haven't quite got my best defenders in the team in that kind of scenario you can see how easily they've they've worked through us and made the space like here look that's unlucky a little bit there I have to say with Chiloba not getting that ball away but Oh, man, it's just sloppy. There's no centre-backs there. There's no one to mark and donate. Dickie's out of position. I've tried to close down the man, so it could be that I've taken him out of position there. But 2-2, two -two and uh, it's not looking amazing. We're going to probably need to make a change in a sec. Well, not too long left, 15 minutes to go, and I've had to make a couple of changes. Changes that I wasn't necessarily really planning on making, I have to say, but Ellis Todd is going off for a brighter side of Samuel, who I didn't really want to have to bring on. But Elias Chair's coming on for Pepe Ars. I've, I've left Shadipo on again because... He asked to play, and oh, I feel a little bit guilty taking him off. So I decided to have him come in and rest. Oh, no. Oof, rest Ellis Todd. But thankfully, that chance there from uh, Besic has uh, gone straight to Ramsdale. But, you know, bringing on some some of the bigger players and bringing on some big guns and stuff. You know, showing that I do want to get this uh, this win. And I do want to carry on in the cup because, uh, you know... The, the Carabao Cup is a, is a good opportunity for, you know, a slightly smaller Premier League side like ourselves to, uh, to try and win a trophy. Possibly the last chance of the game here. Chair is going to try and set through Bright. So Samuel, oh, the ref has called it just as we we're running through. Bright was absolutely clean through. That could have been another chance for us there. I'm not entirely sure, again, what happens at 90 minutes here. I actually don't remember. I think it goes straight to penalties, doesn't it? It does. It goes straight to penalties. So another penalty shooter. I haven't really got any of my penalty takers on the pitch here. So this is going to be a bit of a stinker. But it's time for a penalty shootout. It's time to see... How we do in the penalties. Oh, and Done has spooned it. The crowd behind him having to bloom in duck and cover because he has spooned it well and truly over the bar. We're going to go bottom right. Oh, Lossel's read that one fine. There's no, no penalty scored in the first batch of pens. He's going right as well, I think. Oh, he spooned it as well. Mate, they are not penalty takers at Blooming Everton, I have to say. I was a little bit worried about my penalty takers, but we seem to be doing okay because we're at least getting us on target. And Shadipo gets the first penalty of the penalty shootout. Four penalties in. He's going left here. He is going left. Ramsdale with a big save. So far, they are yet to even score a penalty. Dickey is going to try and get this in that bottom left-hand corner. Go on, Rob, mate. He's taking it. Oh, he's found it in that bottom corner. That was right in that corner because Lossell did dive the right way but didn't get the save off here. Where's he going? He's going right as well, you know. He is going. Oh, he went down the middle. I honestly thought he was looking to that right. Damn it. Couldn't quite get 
the one I needed there, Ludwig. Go on, mate. Ludwig's just going to tap it to that top corner. Ludwig. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, Ludwig. That could have been your moment, mate. Ludwig, Ludwig. I cannot believe that. Right, Ramsdale. Come on, mate. Pennington's looking right. He's looking right. He spooned it anyway. It doesn't matter. Everton are atrocious at penalties. That's one of the worst penalty shootouts I think I've ever seen. But we do make it through. Well done to Ramsdale. Getting the plaudits. Does save one of the penalties, I think, there. And uh, they missed three of them. They hit three penalties off target. Pennington not having the best of penalties there. But I have to say, the main thing is, we made it through. We made it difficult for ourselves. I feel like we were a little bit unlucky because that chance for Bright right at the end, he was he was cleaned through. I can't believe the rest blown it there. But the main thing is, we do go through and we are into the next round of the Carabao Cup. So after making it through the Carabao Cup, after that, again, that awful penalty shootout from both teams, I have to say, uh, I'm also going to just uh, change uh, Bon here to a poacher. That is something that I think was being confirmed. I don't think I have to... Do I have to click on a thing to, like... Confirm that? I don't think so, but that's absolutely fine. So he's going to carry on doing that. Um, I don't think he can actually go up anymore, which is a slight shame. So 72 rating being potentially his max is not ideal for us. So uh, I think we kind of just have to be patient now and wait for that to potentially go up. But Shadipo is happy he played. Now we do have Leeds, who I think are a little bit lower down the table than they probably would like to be. They're down in 16th right now with six points from six. So uh, they're going to be looking to try and pick up points. One of the shocks for me is Leicester City down there. Four points from six so far. Not good from them at all. And obviously Man City down in 12th. Uh, but I have to say we're not doing too badly. Again, three points here would be fantastic. It would be great to uh, try and find that winning form again after a bit of a stinky episode last week. So uh, let's get back into it, shall we? Let's get to the Leeds game and I'll show you the lineup. Okay, so the team is ready for Leeds. A couple of changes made here, obviously, from the Cup game. But Ramsdale, Hammerline and Carter Vickers comes back in. Dickey is captain today. And Kane makes his way back into the team too. Amos and Chaloba, as I thought I'd be able to do, are in for our CDM partnership today. Ella Sod stays in the team. Bryce Samu comes in on the right. Obafemi starts still, but Lyndon Dykes is obviously back for the league. So hopefully today we can get ourselves a big three points and try and get our form back on track. Okay, at the Kind Prince Foundation Stadium, always good to have a home game, and hopefully today this home game can end with three points to Queen's Park Rangers. Really hoping today that we can pick up those three points and again get us back on track, and again pushing towards a really impressive finish in the uh, the league so far. So it's one of those where we're definitely overachieving, but sadly there's not too much I can do about it. Playing an ultimate, I'm playing it as different as I can. So uh, let's see if today we can try and pick up those three points and again get the form back the way it should be. We got the ball out wide. Now we've got Kane there. Lovely step in from Kane. Kane coming in and again, making a good impact today. I think Kane is really showing how good of a right back he is. But right now we'll focus on that in a second. Because Bryce Sai Semmel is absolutely bursting away from Calvin Phillips. Phillips is nowhere near him. Bryce Sai Semmel with a fantastic run and finding the back of the net as well. Calvin Phillips could not keep up with him. You could see the pace different there as Bright just blitzed down that wing there. As soon as the left back wasn't there and it was Phillips to try and chase him. Look, Phillips has just got nothing on him in regards to pace. As I said before, he may not have, have his allegiance with us in real life, but he's still got his allegiance with us in this career mode. And you know what? It's paying dividends giving him a chance and it's paying dividends showing them that he can play for us going forward. So lovely stuff from Bright. Second goal of the season already. Let's get more of the same boys. It's a good start for us there. Ball here with Lyndon Dykes. Dykes is going to look up and he's going to see Bright Sai Samu yet again bursting down that wing. Players just cannot keep up with Bright. He is far too quick for pretty much anyone you're going to come up against. Oh, that pass went all the way across to Ellis Todd. I wanted it in top of Femi, but it was blocked by the defender. And we do still have a bit of a chance here from this throw. And we're going to play the throw into Oba Femi now. Oba Femi, Dykes, get on. Oh, I need Dykes on side there. Dykes just stayed offside, which was not really ideal because I didn't really have anyone to pass it to. But Dykes is going to take his time here. Going to work onto his right foot. Pulls it onto his left. Oh, can he turn the defender? Not quite. I've tried a bit too much there, but I want to get Dykes back in the score sheet because Dykes has been so good for us in this scrimmage so far. I'd love to see him carry on. That's a really good block there from the defender. Well, let's, let's start this again. Ball in here with Obafemi. Dykes has stayed on side. Dykes is definitely on side. The referee blows it there. He's an idiot, but he's not. And Lyndon Dykes finds the back of the net. A very similar finish to the first goal with Bright. Dykes finds the back of the net and makes it two. I have to say, we have been nothing short fantastic in this game already. We're building the ball up quite nicely. When they get the ball, we're closing them down really well. I have to say, Todd Kane and um, El and um, uh, Luke Amos have been nothing short of perfection in this game. They have really, really done well on that right-hand side because that's everywhere they're trying to bring the ball forward. They always try and bring it forward on our right-hand side, and those two have been really good at shutting them out. But Dykes gets his sixth goal of the season in only seven games, and I have to say, we're looking comfortable already. Let's just keep our heads in this one, and uh, let's try and see this one out. First half, if we can, if we can get a third before half-time, I think we've already won it. 
Oh, they played a really good through ball there. That is a very simple pass. That was just a bit of a lapse of con concentration in the middle of the park there and allowed the player straight through. It's the first time they've really attacked down the middle and it's paid off for them straight away. So not really very good for us there. Have to say slightly gutted to have conceded, especially in the manner that we did, especially as we were playing so, so well. But Snodgrass actually getting the assist there. They've got Snodgrass playing. I'm not entirely sure it was who scored it. Um, it was Puertas. Not a player that I'm aware of, but uh, does make it 2-1. We've got to be sensible now. We've got to... Really just, again, keep our head screwed on and, and just keep the concentration levels up, I think. They've got the ball out wide here. They've got Puertas on this ball, but Chaloba has come back and covered quite well to help Kane out. But now they're working this ball down the middle again. Play it into the middle there. A simple pass to striker, and guess what? It's 2-2. And just before halftime, we have absolutely bottled this lead. I think it might have been Rodrigo. I think that's who they started up front. Uh, yeah, it was Rodrigo. That's a really, really bad goal to concede. I have to say, I'm genuinely gutted with the fact that we have conceded there. Because that's just poor defence from us. It's three minutes into the one minute at a time. They've played it backwards there. And the ref has still decided to carry on. Which is slightly infuriating. But it is what it is. Uh, regardless of when the whistle goes. You play to the whistle. And you, you play until the game is uh, is blown there. Thank you referee so much for blowing it immediately after that though. Cheers mate. 2-2 two -two at half time. Not very happy at all. Uh, absolutely gutted. Two chances really that they've had. And they've scored them both. Not been good enough, uh, like good enough from us today. The centre-backs have, have just not been good. I have to say the centre-backs have not performed well today at all. I'm going to take off Carter Vickers. I'm going to ring on Masterson and see if Masterson can maybe just, I don't know, just have something switch up top and just see if he can help us out. Now, I would like to bring on Kelman at some point, but I don't think now is the right time to do so. So I'm going to keep the game going for now. I'm going to bring on Ilias Chair, though, uh, to make two substitutions at half time is a bit of a weird one. But Ilias Chair is going to come on and left for Ellis Todd and Connor Masterson is going to come on for Carter Vickers. See if Masterson can maybe just shore up the defence a little bit, which is kind of crazy to say. Maybe just some fresh eggs will help us out, though. But let's see if we can get back into this lead, boys. 2-2. Shouldn't be, but that's the score right now. They've worked the ball out wide here. This is not a good look for us. This is not a good position. But Todd Kane has got out there very, very nicely and just about seen him out. But he's going to play that one backwards. He's going to play this one in the middle if they can. They love sort of going out to the wing, turn around, playing it backwards, and then playing it into the middle from the wing there. But thankfully, so far, we've done well at keeping them out. But again, I'm just waiting for that chance for them to turn and play into the middle just like that. This is where we now have to be careful because our players are all committed to one side instead of being committed to the middle. Amos is going to try and step in. Connor Masterson does well to get that ball away. Maybe now we have a bit of a chance to counter here. Go on, Ilias, mate. Maybe a good run. Ilias chair with a good little run there. Go on, my man. Work that ball forward. He's got Shackleton trying to close him down, but Shackleton is very, very tired. Ilias chair is going to put that low and hard across the box. Oh, Bright gets the header across. Oh, but Femi shoots. But it's straight into the defender. Really good block there from the defender. Again, a chance for us there to take that lead on that counter-attack. But it's a chance we don't take and it's still 2-2. Okay, not long left now. We've got about 25 minutes on the clock. So actually maybe a little bit more time than I'm allowing or letting on for. But Obafemi's going to come off for some fresh legs in Charlie Kelman. They're also making some changes. Rodrigo and Snodgrass going off for Gelhart and Somerville. Not overly familiar with Gelhart. I know Somerville purely from uh, SBCs. Cheers for that, mate. Bit of BPM. But apart from that, not changes I'm massively aware of like the players. But again, mainly for us, a bit of just injection of fresh legs. Uh, also quick legs up top. And hopefully if we attack on the counter like that again, we'll have the players up there to keep up with our strikers and keep up with the attack and uh, try and get the lead again. Because that's what we deserve, I think, honestly, from this game so far. Kelman on the ball now. Kelman's going to wait for Dykes to try and make that run. Going to try and set away Lyndon Dykes here. Dykes, lovely little turn. Going to play it into Kelman. Not the best of passes, but Kelman does get the initial first touch, but loses out to the defender. Really not long left on the clock now. I have got the team on team press because I do need that ball. I need possession if we're going to get anything, but it looks like the last attack of the game is probably going to go two leads, which is not what we wanted to see. They've got the ball out wide here. Hammerlinen steps in for the first tackle, but has got to make a second Come on, Hammerline and mate. They forced it backwards. Referee, last time they played it backwards, you still let them play on and still let them get in a chance. And they scored from it. So we've got to try and be careful here. They're still working it. Look, they've worked it backwards, ref. Blow that whistle. Thank you. I have to say, I'm slightly gutted the fact we've conceded there at the end of that uh, first half to make it 2-2 after a very, very dominant first half display and a very, very dominant display in general. I have to say, I think we were the better team. Near the end of the game, they had a lot of possession. They had a lot of the ball around our box. But you can see honestly there weren't that many chances but I have to say I think we played better I think they had the ball a lot sort of in the midfield like third and, and just kind of kept it didn't do much with it but gutted honestly I thought that's two points lost not a point gain there I have to say but that point actually does see us up into sixth place. So we do actually, you know, climb a place up in the table here. I have to say Bournemouth up in fifth is absolutely 
maddening. I have to say that is an incredible position for them. So fair play to Bournemouth as well. Another promoted team. So it doesn't just show that it's just me that happens to be overperforming right now. Bournemouth have come up and are doing very, very well indeed. Uh, Leeds pull themselves up into 14th and Leicester still down there in 18th place. Not a good look for them right now, but I have to say uh, I'm, I'm happy with where we are, but I'm disappointed because if you look at the games that we have dropped points from, there have been games that we probably should have got more points from them, but it is what it is. It's one of those. And what we're going to do is we're going to round the video up there. Next episode, we are against top of the table Liverpool, which will be a very, very tricky game. But a game we have to try and prepare for, a game we have to try and be ready for and get our best team ready and showing for that game. But I'm going to end the episode there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do leave a like. It is greatly appreciated. And thank you for all the support on these videos and on this series. Of course, it helps me, the channel, and the video out if you do drop that like. If you're new to the channel as well, subscription goes a long, long way. So make sure you hit that sub button and turn notifications on to be told anytime that we upload a video or indeed go live at the live stream. But for now, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves. And of course, wash your hands. What? In a bit. Now his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, I'll say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know. Hursty games, gonna.